friends, welcome back to another Herbal Remedies video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Echinacea purpurea. I made a simple Echinacea syrup when uh, my kids were sick um, like a little while back and it's really, really easy to make. You can make it within a day and it tastes good so they're going to be more receptive to take it because it's like sweet and not too bitter and yeah. So I love Echinacea. Um, it kind of gets a bad rap. I think sometimes in the supplement natural world because people a lot of times will say, well, I took Echinacea and I still got sick and it didn't work. And here's the thing about Echinacea. It's not a tonic, meaning it's not something that you take every day long term to prevent a cold or boost your immune system, which is what you'll hear a lot of times. Really what Echinacea is good at is kind of really boosting your immune system in short, fast-acting bursts. When I was going to school for herbalism, I learned that it's kind of like the drill sergeant of the immune system. It wakes it up, it says, hey, you know, we've got an invader, we've got a virus, you need to get all hands on deck and you need to fight off this bug. So what Echinacea does essentially is it's just a support to the immune system. And in order for it to do that effectively, it has to be taken every waking hour on the hour. It's not one that you can take once a day where you're gonna see results because it's fast acting and it kind of, for lack of a better word, kind of wears off. So it's like you need to take it every hour. And the beautiful thing about the syrup, especially with kids, is that it tastes good. So you're not gonna have a lot of arguments. Um, if they really don't wanna take the syrup, then you can mix it in a little bit of juice with maybe some other herb herbal remedies that you might give when your kids are battling a cold or flu. But, it works really, really well when it's taken this way. And every time, you know, if I feel like I'm coming down with something, I take Echinacea. Every hour, every waking hour on the hour, I take it. And I just set an alarm on my phone to remind me, or if I'm at home, I set a timer. And every time the timer goes off, I just give myself a boost of Echinacea. Just, you know, I don't mind the syrup, or if I have a tincture, I'll just take a tincture. But if, like I said, you have kids, um, and you need to put it in a little, like, little shot of orange juice, that's what I do. And... They learn, you know, I talk to them too. It's like, this is this is a this is something that's gonna help you, this is something that's gonna help you get better faster. And so they realize that they're taking medicine. And so it's not necessarily always gonna taste super great, but it's not bad enough that they refuse to take it. So for today, syrup, I'm using both echinacea leaf and echinacea root. Um, I like to combine both, just you know, you get all the properties in one, why not? But you could use one or the other if that's the only access that you had. Um, there are different varieties of echinacea. Um, this one that we're using for my syrup is purpurea. There is angustifolia, and really it just matters, I think, on where you live and what you can get. Um, you know, they, they, some people might argue that they have a little bit different properties. A lot of herbalists just say they use them interchangeably. They just kind of use whatever one they have and it works great. So whatever one that you can get, that is fine. So I think that's it. Let's dive into making this herb. So the first thing you're going to do is pour your echinacea into a stainless steel saucepan and you're going to cover it with filtered water. A good ratio is eight ounces of water to every one ounce of herb. Then you move your saucepan to the stove and you let it simmer on low to medium heat. Because I used the root and the flower leaf properties of this plant, I wanted to simmer the roots first. So I let the roots simmer for about 20 minutes and then I added in the flower and leaf. And after that, I just kept it on a very, very low heat on the stove with the lid on it. Uh, for a few hours until the liquid amount was cut in half. There are two different ways to do this. So you can do it overnight or you can do it in one day. Next, you wanna get your raw honey, local preferred. You don't wanna burn the honey, so you wanna make sure that you cool the echinacea concoction enough so that it's not gonna ruin those delicious medicinal properties of raw honey. And then you're gonna take some cheesecloth and a strainer and you're gonna pour the concoction through the cheesecloth Echinacea, also known as purple coneflower, is an alternative, antimicrobial, an immune stimulant, antibiotic, antiviral, antifungal, antiallergenic, detoxifier, and a diaphoretic. It's also full of calcium, potassium, phosphorus, niacin, copper, sulfur, iron, magnesium, manganese, and is high in vitamins A, C, and E. As you can see, I pressed the echinacea 
liquid uh, through the cheesecloth, but if you have time, you can just let it sit there and strain on its own. Once that's done, you should have about a cup to a cup and a half of liquid. And then it's time to add your beautifully medicinal honey. And a good average is about 40% of your liquid volume. So in my case, I think I added about a third to a half a cup, um, but it can go anywhere from a fourth a cup to a half a cup. And then it's time to stir and you just want to make sure that you agitate it and stir it long enough so that all of the honey dissolves and then it's time to bottle. I like to keep these brown medicinal bottles on hand anywhere from like a six ounce to an eight ounce would work and I just put these in the fridge after I'm done and the last about six to ten weeks approximately if I'm making an echinacea syrup it's usually because we need it and uh, we use it up before it expires. I give us a teaspoon as a dose every waking hour for three to four days or until our symptoms subside. As always, remember to label your bottles uh, with a date and then you can put it in the fridge. Thank you so much for being here. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe while you're here and I will see you all in the next video.